everyone! Today I'm going to talk about the Yuki Cup. The Yuki Cup is made by a Czech company that specializes in healthcare products. The silicone that they use is produced by a German company that uses the highest quality approved in healthcare and food industries. Uh, they do use, or it is a liquid silicone rubber. And they have a lot of good information on their website, so check them out. It's a really easy to navigate website, uh, and you should have no problems finding what you're looking for, answering your questions there um, if you want to go to their website. But they do um, say that they have certificates for their products, so check that out if you're wondering. And they do boast about using a clean room for the production of their products. And basically that is the facility that they manufacture or that they use to manufacture all of their items. And it's, um, you know, just the steps, uh, measurements that they take to prevent the risks of contamination. So they are doing their part to give us a safe, well-made uh, product. So the Yuki website does offer their cups and some of their other um, intimate items, but they do also have other selling platforms and Amazon is one of them. And on Amazon, the set that I wanted to get originally was only $25.50, and that included two cups, a small and a large, and the infuser box, which is for sterilizing and disinfecting your cup. Uh, that cup is microwavable, and I don't have one, I'm sorry, I can't even show it to you. But that's a really good price, $25.50. Um, that's the same price as some of the other uh, name brand cups and that's just for one so this is a good deal. So I went ahead and purchased mine off of the Feminine Wear website because I was ordering other cups at the same time and I just thought it would be better to shave this save the shave <laughs> save the shipping costs and purchase the Yuki cup through um, through the Feminine Wear website and she does also have different uh, sets to purchase from but I only got the cup itself and it doesn't come with a pouch but it did have the um, paper um, and they both came in a little baggie which you don't really need to see and this paper folds out two more times but um, the whole whole paper front and back are all the same instructions, directions, but in different languages. And right here is the English um, version of that. So I'm not even going to open it. The Yuki Cup only comes in this clear. And they have two different sizes. Size 1, which is the smaller of the two sizes, um, is for people who have not given birth yet and size 2 or size large are for people who have given birth, have a regular sex life, or for people who are older than 28 years old. They also offer the Yuki Cup in three different resistances. So soft, which is of course the softer of the silicones, the economy, which is the middle uh, silicone or middle stiffness, and the classic, which is the hardest of the three. Um, silicones and I this is an economy or the medium or middle of the resistances and um, even though it's the medium of the resistances it is still the firmest cup of all of the cups that I have and I have uh, at least 24 25 cups so it even though it's the middle resistance it is still the firmest cup that I own and uh, I have read that it is been dubbed the rock of all of the menstrual cups. So this is a size one or the smaller of the two sizes that they offer and it measures just under two inches tall. And starting with the stem, this is a stick style stem and this stem is hollow and you can see right down in there really well. It's got nice flexibility to it and it's it's got a good stretch but then it stops so it doesn't continue to exit your body while your cup is still suctioned to you. 
And it does have four grip rings, but they're not really raised a whole bunch off of that stem. If you need to cut the stem off, you have a good area to work with. Uh, they did put a, a nice a bit of meat in there, so you can see that it's solid from about this point to right at this grip ring here. If you're cutting your stem off, you can file it and not really worry that you're going to puncture down into the actual cup itself because they put that nice a bit of seam inside of it. So right under the stem there are four grip rings and they're they're weight raised quite nicely off of that cup. You can see that there. And they make quite a bit of sound. And they're spaced wide apart and down onto the cup that it gives a good nice big area for you to pinch down on and grip and it doesn't feel like my fingers are going to slide off of that cup. The silicone is really nice. It feels really well made. feels like it's going to last a long time and after doing research and asking questions about silicones and how they're made, um, I found that the more clear a silicone is, the better quality or the purity of the silicone and so this silicone is nice and clear not as clear as the juju or juju cup but it it's right under that so uh, right here there is a very slight bump it's a smooth transition it's not a hard edge and at that line, which is on the inside of the cup, um, it, you can see my nail moving it there, but it feels like a grip ring, um, but it is on the inside, so you can see it from the outside, though, and at that line is where the secondary rim would start, and from that area, or from that line up to the top, it does get more firm, and that's so that this cup opens easy. And that top rim is the firmest part of the cup, but it does have a seam that goes all the way around the cup and that's quite raised and you can see it right there and also right there, but it goes all the way around the cup. Um, if you're sensitive, these grip rings are raised and that might give you problems, so I don't you know, I don't know about that seam. Just know that it is there. Right underneath that top rim, there are four suction release holes, and there's two there and two more in the back. And they look like they're molded with this cup, and they are diagonal, so from the outside going in, it goes upward, and you can see the direction of that hole there. So on the inside, it is molded with their brand name, Yuki. And uh, you can read it from the outside. Um, and they have measurement lines and numbers, and that says 5 and 10. And um, on a website, it says that it holds up to these air holes, or right below these air holes would be 13 milliliters. So if you're using your cup to its full capacity, I would have to guesstimate that it is uh, 15 milliliters and that's a half an ounce. Also on the inside it is molded uh, with a number and mine says 1 or shows a 1 and that is to indicate the size of the cup. So this is size 1 and it is the smaller of the two sizes. So the Yuki Cup has this unique design and they placed this molded ring on the inside, the one that I said felt like a grip ring, um, and you can see it there, but that is on the inside and that's to help prevent spillage during handling. Uh, if you noticed with liquids, 
it creates this like bubble or dome and it isn't until you pour it to a certain point uh, before it starts to spill over itself and this helps create that bubble it just kind of holds your your blood back back until you're ready to actually dump it out and it creates that bubble until you uh, put that weight behind it and it breaks and spills over to the other side of that ring. So that's just a little added bonus for this cup. So my personal experience with this cup or personal thoughts with this cup. When I first received it, the first thing I noticed, of course, was that it was a very firm cup. And I personally like firm cups. They're so much easier to open for me. And um, with the Lunette cup, it opened up so easy. And it actually surprised me with popping open because I felt it and I swear I could hear it in my head and it the same happened with the Yuki cup and this is a small cup and usually I can't use the punch down fold uh, but I was able to use the punch down fold easily with the Yuki cup it wasn't it just felt comfortable in my hand and um, some of the other cups I just I can't get a good handle on it or good grip on it um, but the Yuki cup it was easy to do that with so I didn't have to go back to uh, another fold uh, that I usually have to use with a smaller cup or a soft cup uh, so the Yuki was really easy to handle um, and I again I used my punch down fold I inserted it easily easily it was comfortable I didn't even have to coax it, it just opened up on, on its own and I had to play, move it into place. Um, it was comfortable while I wore it. I wore it for um, the whole day. Well, I emptied in the morning and I emptied at night, so I, I did wear it the full 12 hours and I, I couldn't feel it. Uh, I didn't have any leaking or spilling, or no, not spilling, but I didn't have any <laughs> leaking uh, while I wore it and I removed it easy because it is a firmer cup you do want to uh, get it to a certain point and for me I could feel when the rim is just just at the entrance of my vagina and I know that's when I need to reach up and curl the rim over a bit so that I don't hit my urethra um, it, for me it's just been a discomfort or just a discomforting feeling not that I get a lot of pain but maybe it's because I learned quickly um, through reading other people's experience hitting their urethra I'm a little bit more careful when I do that but I know when it's at that point and I, I need to push down the rim just a bit to um, to miss my urethra and take the cup out without any pain or discomfort and uh, it was a really comfortable cup. I didn't cut the stem. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep the cup, so I wanted to leave the stem intact. And I could just feel the stem at the opening of my vagina. It wasn't actually sticking out all the way uh, because this is a small cup and I have a high cervix. Uh, but if I was to keep this cup, I would probably cut the stem off. I usually don't need the stems uh, for any of my cups, but... It was a really good cup, really comfortable. I didn't leak, and those are the things that I'm always looking for in a cup, um, that it popped open really nicely. And I like it a lot. I, I like that it's so clear. Uh, like Again, I, I did talk about uh, the purity of a silicone or the clarity of a silicone, and so that was a big bonus for me personally. Um, I'll go ahead and put it up against a couple cups and the first one I have here is the Maluna medium and just showing you the sizes here and I don't have my lunette anymore my small lunette and my daughter took hers with her to New York so this is a China cheapy no-name brand but it is modeled after the lunette so this is the small and that's up against the Yuki. 
and I didn't bring any other cups out uh, but those are you know two popular brands I I have have my diva cup but it is a size 2 and I'll just go ahead and place that up against there so you can see anyhow I did do some comparisons of the Yuki against some other cups so you might want to look for that on my channel if you're interested and it is in my softest to firmest cups video and also the softest to the firmest rim cup video so look for those on my channel as well if you're interested in seeing how firm this cup is compared to some of the other cups that I had on hand but it's a really well made cup I like it a lot and if I hadn't come across the Juju or Juju cup um, this probably would have been in my top three favorites I would say that it probably comes in fourth on my uh, favorites list and I don't know I, I would like to get the larger a Yuki cup in the future just to try it out because it is a really good cup and it might it, you know end up in my top three favorites but it's a great cup if you can use a firm cup and have problems opening cups and this is this would be a, a great cup um, it is it is quite uh, small and uh, it has that little bit of a bell shape so uh, lower cervix might be able to use the small Yuki cup. Uh, if you have a very sensitive bladder you might want to stay away from it because this is a firm cup that this might give you some discomfort. However I don't know how soft their soft uh, cup is so I can't really speak about that. But this is a really nice cup and I do do suggest getting it, trying it out, it, and the price is not so bad that if it doesn't work, you know, you didn't waste a whole bunch of money. And if you're okay with buying destash or just destashing your cups, then you can always do that as well. So I hope I answered some questions you might have had about the Yuki cup. If I missed anything or had additional questions, you can leave them in the comments below or find me on Facebook. I'm Red Herring there as well. All of the links that I mentioned in this video I will include in the description below. And if you're looking for other uh, menstrual cup comparisons, reviews, personal thoughts, information, please subscribe to my channel. Until I see you next week, thanks for watching.